Hi guys, it's been uh, several months since we have posted uh, an update on the development on the new four-stroke engine. It's the engine developed by EOS in Austria and we at Scout Paramotors, we are just testing the engine and kind of helping and advising a little bit to development, but the main author of the project is the EOS. Now, I want to assure you first that the project is still on. It's still running and uh, i still believe despite uh, many problems that we were going through that there will there is light at the end of the tunnel i can show you how the engine looks right now uh, this is this is some recent footage of the engine The guy on the right you've seen in the video was Roland, uh, the main, the owner and designer of the engine. The guy on the left was Peter, our, our team pilot, testing the, testing the motor. In the last video I've mentioned that we were facing uh, serious problems with the exhaust. Uh, and after many variations we eventually came up uh, with a new design. Uh, a very simple pipe. A beautiful nice carbon finish silencer it looks really gorgeous and it seems to work pretty well here I have a short video of the of the of the pipe of the engine running yeah it, seem, it seems to be pretty good and it lasted several flights uh, on mostly about one and a half hours up to over two hours of flights. So it now seems to be good. Of course, it requires a more long term testing. Another modification that uh, we did recently is this new beautiful carbon fiber cooling shroud that mounts on the engine for the forced, for the forced cooling. Um, yeah, it looks gorgeous, um, just as any scout product does. After sorting, sorting out the, the exhaust issue, uh, Roland also did some new modification and uh, an improvement on the cooling. Um, honestly, I can't tell you much about this, but there is a new cooling uh, system for and some redesigned crankcase uh, for the engine. Now, we were pretty, pretty optimistic and enthusiastic to uh, to consider it like almost done and uh, two weeks ago we traveled to Italy to put a lot of lot of hours on the engine uh, unfortunately we could not uh, we uh, we noticed some serious oil leaks this is uh, um, after a short flight uh, you see several oil leaks now it gets uh, even like it's leaking really heavily, especially at higher RPM and at certain lean angle. The oil is leaking from the breather uh, on a four stroke. The cylinder head uh, does have a breather to let the excess air go in and out to prevent overpression under pressure in the, in, in the engine room. Uh, unfortunately, this air moving extremely fast out and in and out and in with every cycle uh, takes uh, takes uh, some oil with um, as the oil inside the engine gets a little foamy uh, it just uh, it, uh, it just spits out um, at the moment Roland Roland is working on a new solution there are two options the first option that we have considered is installing a separate uh, oil separator that is 
commonly used on, on like dirt bikes and any and, and many other engines. Uh, now Roland is redesigning the the whole crankcase um, to uh, and the whole engine uh, to root the lubrication channel slightly different way to prevent to prevent the moving air to to grab the, the oil and spit out so uh, let's hope that we will see some new uh, new new progress in the, in the near future the next thing i want to talk about is to uh, give some responses to questions that we get mostly on emails and uh, and on youtube Probably the most frequent questions were regarding uh, uh, whether the weight and the horsepower and, and, the, and the power of the engine are true numbers. And uh, I haven't measured them, but it really, it really feels like that. Uh, so let's, let's see what all the modifications that uh, have had to be done or will have to be done in the near future during the development process will bring hopefully they will not decrease decrease the the power of the engine and will not increase the weight of the engine but as it, as it is it really seems to come very close to the performance and weight of two-stroke engines so yes i believe that this would be a real this could be a uh, a good alternative. Some of the questions were related to to electronic fuel injection. Now, obviously, this would be a great deal for for the four stroke, but fact is, it's not on. It's not priority. It's it's not a priority at the moment. Priority at the moment is to make the engine running and reliably running as it is and electronic fuel injection maybe a little later so at the moment the engine is running with a bowl carburetor which is better uh, which is better than the standard ones e-start uh, yes sure e-start why not but uh, not at this moment not in the primary stage of uh, development twice the flying range of a two-stroke with the same power and weight where the fuck can i get one now we are still deep in the development phase, so even with the modifications that are being done right now, and we hope to see some good results in the near future, there will still be required a proper long-term testing of the engine. Uh, now there are two prototypes being built, and after pr uh, testing these two prototypes throughoutly, the next phase will be to build another 15 engines that will be not sold on market yet, but those engines will be distributed among selected pilots to, uh, to put many, many hours on it in flight. So the engine is well tested when put on the market. Putting on, putting on the market too early would be a big mistake. Uh, I hope, I hope, I very much hope Roland from EOS will resist its temptation. Price, mm, any idea on the total package cost? Not at all. It will be definitely more expensive than the two stroke, but that's just obvious. To summarize for this quick update video, the project is definitely alive. I'm super ex excited and enthusiastic about the motor and its performance, uh, yet I'm a little more cautious about the actual development process. We were facing several problems, those were tackled on the go, and uh, the project will definitely go on, but it's very hard to predict how how much time it's gonna take to finish and i can perfectly understand that be because even with scout bringing a new paramotor or developing a new thing just takes its time and it's completely unpredictable so please don't expect this engine in an, any any time soon uh, but uh, stay tuned for next updates thank you very much for watching and uh, have fun in the air.